Biggity, biggity, bonks. I bid you welcome. Welcome, my fellow gamers, to the bellows. I think that's what it is. Alright. Getting right into it. Hi. What you doing down there? Chillin'? Chillin'? Okay. Uh, hi again. Just looking up here at me? Alright. Okay. Yes. Yes. I'm just gonna keep facing this way. Okay. <laughs> oh, I gotta turn around. Wow, this game is dark. Holy shit. I don't know how well this is gonna record, to be honest, because. Wow, this is dark. Like, I can't see what's down here. I can't see. What is this? Is it a plant? I think it's a plant. Alright, so down the hall we go. Where we stop? Nobody knows. We must get ready for a fight. What up, you dukes? Yeah. Yeah. You know, that could actually work. I don't know if it will work in this game, but. Uh. Alright, so that doesn't open. That's what we're gonna guess. We're gonna say that doesn't open. Oh, I have to admit, motion sickness in this game, not bad. What the fuck? <laughs> that was cool. However, does not control that great. But then again, this game was not super pricey. Motherfucker. It was like five bucks, so I mean, what do you expect for five bucks? Hello. You actually look very useful. I'll happily take you. Thank you. Fuck out of here. I'm oh, sorry, we can't move forward with our fish fist clenched. It won't let us. Hello, books. I don't know if we're actually going to even need a second hand in here, but I tried to play this with the controller. I didn't even get past the tutorial. That's how bad it felt with the controller. So I had to switch over to the move controls. <laughs> uh, this game did not feel good with the controller at all. Hello? Anybody home? The lighting in here, I mean, it's much better with this lantern. This is supposed to be a VR horror experience. So, I am looking forward to the horror. The horror of loud noises. It's so scary. We'll just phase through that, it's fine. What the f- oh. I thought it was a giant creature. It was not. It was just a broken vase. Hello, broken vase. You scared me. Mildly. I was mildly scared. <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, I was gonna ask if that's glitching out, but I don't think so. I think it's actually supposed to... Dude, I see you down there. I'm gonna say, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be doing that, but I think it is. So... Kudos. Why is one hand... Oh, there it goes. It's like, why is one of my hands, like, way the fuck out there? <laughs> One of my hands is floating off into the ether of space and time. Please, do let me know if there are any VR games coming out that you guys would like to see. Or if there is one that's already out that you want to see. Let me know. Because right now, I am all about the fucking VR. Get out of my face, stupid hand. You know, some games work, some games don't, and that's okay. Even if it's uh, one of the shitty games... That's fine. I'll give it a shot. If I don't like it, hey, I'll say I don't like it. I don't mind. We just got done Weeping Doll, and uh, to be honest, the ending of that was... I didn't even know it was an ending. I spent like fucking an extra 20 minutes running around trying to figure out what I was supposed to be doing. Before I figured out 
Oh, the game ended. Okay. Sure. Yeah, dude, that was fucking... I mean, good job to you. My hand receded into my body. <laughs> I just hit my stand <laughs> trying to reach for that. Because I had my computer set up on the side here. And getting this lantern is going to prove to be a pain in the ass. Why? Because my stand is kind of in the way. There we go, we got it. So, because my stand is right next to me when I'm recording this, actually, I'm just going to take a peek really quick and make sure I didn't screw anything up. Nope, I didn't. Microphone and everything is still in the right spot. Hey! That was cool. I put on my headset, and as I did, that thing goes floating by my head. <laughs> but yeah, so it does restrict my reach a little bit. But that's okay. What the fuck was that? Alright, good job. Good job, game. That was actually... That was good. That was not really a jump scare. That was my brain trying to make sense of something coming at me that I could not fucking comprehend. That's a good scare. Them are the type of scares we enjoy. Cheap jump scares? Not really my thing. Although, you know, if it's done tastefully... That's cool. It's hard nowadays to get a really good tasteful uh, jump scare. Hey. Hi. Uh, you look very, very friendly. Okay. You know, hey, we, we were just talking. You know, you want to just leave? Bit rude, but okay. Uh, bye. <sighs> so rude. Some people, you know, they get no conversation skills. They don't want to sit around... In chat, they don't want to have a good time. No, fuck that. They just want to leave. Whoa. Hey, hand. And there's my other hand over there. Oh, there it goes. What the fuck? Okay, see. What the? Alright. I mean, that wasn't really scary, but that was cool. <laughs> I was more confused. I went to look behind me and see there's a cribs gone and look back and I don't know what the fuck that was. Uh, a bloodied face? Possibly a clown? I don't know. It was something. That much we do know. It was something. And it was meant to be terrifying. So, so far I will say that this game has gotten me once, genuinely. Which, hey, that was more than Weeping Doll, so... We're already off to a good start. Stupid hands. Grab the lantern. Thank you. I don't know what I was hitting. I was probably hitting my portable charger that time. <laughs> I had too much shit in the way for this. Alright, this place looks uh, grungy and... Kind of... I got an itch on my invisible arm. There we go. It looks a little like a, I don't know, I want to say it in a, I'm going to guess it's an asylum of some kind, but it kind of looks like an old hospital, maybe a prison. I'm going to go with really old hospital. Can we open that? We cannot. Okay. Actually, don't know how to open things. I just know how to grab onto things in here. So, it does have good shadows, though. I mean, fuck off. Okay? <laughs> I was busy looking at the shadow. You shut off the light in there, and you appear in the door. I'm not impressed. You're an asshole. That much I will say. Hello? Oh, we can actually kind of see in there a little bit. That's cool. I actually... Ex all right, game, point to you. I expected uh, just to kind of be gazing into a dark void if I came up to this door. But no, you actually... Uh... Oh, I guess we can only... There is no walk backwards. It's only a walk forward. Where'd my hand go? There it is. So yeah, kudos to you, game. You actually did something I did not expect. And my hand is being fucking stupid. 
<laughs> Alright, whatever. I'm not meant to get in there. <laughs> Hand just floating up. But then again, that's not really the game's fault. Some games do track better than others, but it can be chalked up to the move controller as well. We all know that the move controller is not that great. Okay. Got it. Hey, you're the boss. I'm just here. Okay, this is definitely looking more like a hospital. Mental institution, maybe? I don't know, a lot of places take, uh, a lot of games take place in a mental institution, you know? This thing does not give us a lot of light. No matter what door we go to, I'm pretty sure we're not going to be able to open it. I'm not sure if this is a super linear game. It might be. Uh, most VR games, uh, well, the ones that I have played have been. Which, that's fine as long as you know the story and the gameplay is good and doesn't make me sick. I am quite content, actually. Fuck off. I don't think I didn't see you move, because I know you did. You're following me. What do you think you're doing, huh? There's a shadow of someone there. But there was no one there. Sneaky Chuck. What the fuck? Sneaky Chuck. Sneaky Chuck. Sneaky Chuck. <laughs> Sneaky Chuck. Sneaky Chuck. Sneaky Chuck. Sneaky Chuck. What do you think? Sneaky Chuck. Sneaky Chuck. Sneaky Chuck. Sneaky Chuck. Okay. Sneaky Chuck. All right, Creepo. I'm out. Sneaky Chuck. Sneaky Chuck. All right, that was pretty good. Good job, game. Can we? No, we just phased through it. Bye. Uh, sorry, we couldn't help out. There's kind of shit in our way here. Alright, so we met Sneaky Chuck or Sneaky Chuck or someone. I should have known something like that was going to happen. I mean, that's fucking classic move right there. You look away, and then something appears. Right? Why do I walk towards the noise? It's probably because I know noises mean progress. Sure, follow the creepy thing. That's what we want to do, right? Okay, we need a key for this. <clears throat> so, somewhere there will be a key. So, this is a shower room. And a bathroom. It's a bath slash shower room. Uh, that is an excellent place to leave a key. But the question is, can my... Yes, I can get it. Good job, Harry. What the? You motherfuckers! So it's gonna be one of them games. Every time I turn away, away, something bad's gonna happen. So you were in the shower, huh? You look like a security guard. You look like you did not have a good time. You look like you are not going to be rating this place very well. Looks like you hate your job. Or at least you used to hate your job. You can't really hate your job anymore, can you? Fucking get in the hole, Key. Hello. Alright, so now we have to back up, turn, and, I don't know, grab the handle? Stupid hand. Ah, oh, we had to turn the key. <sighs> okay. Nerves are mildly shaken right now. You know, fucking... I should be expecting jump scares by now. I really should. Like right now, something should happen, probably. Right? Ah. I was expecting that though that time. So it wasn't bad.
Fuck off. <laughs> I hate when there's noises behind me. Why are the little tiny fucking feet? What the fuck is that on the table? Okay, tiny feet under the table. Weird tail thing on top of table. They're just like little mannequin legs. Okay. What the fuck is that? Sneaky Chuck? Are you here? Sneaky Chuck? Great. <laughs> Hi, Sneaky Chuck. Hi. Our hand, we, we can't really pet you because, you know, our hand just floats off into fucking oblivion. See? Look at it go. <laughs> Bye, hand. Oh, there we go. We got it back. Oh, that's nasty. A lot of nasty things in here. I'm noticing that. A lot of nasty stuff. That seems to be the... Uh, the... the uh, theme of this game. And yeah, I can see you through the window. There's something in there. Okay. It's creating monsters, I guess. Because that thing is not fucking human. Look at that. That is actually terrifying. Alright, I'll give it this. Nice creature design for VR. That thing looks fucking terrifying. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Now we've seen one of them, it makes me think that one might appear. And it will probably end up, you know, getting me. Because that's normally what fucking happens, right? Alright, we can't go this way, it seems. Nope. So, you want to know one of the worst things about VR? Is when you have an itch on your eyebrow, but your eyebrow is covered by the fucking... What? Fuck you. But your eyebrow is covered by the, uh, <clears throat> move controller. So. Oh, I see. You, you kind of limited my ways to go. I appreciate that. Thank you, game. I remember you. You were also fucking around in the bathroom. That's where we found you last time. You can't fool me. Okay. Uh, hey. Are you... You doing alright? You don't seem like you are. In fact, you actually seem kind of dead. Maybe choked. Yeah, I see fingerprints there, you know. Alright. Well, uh, you just rest up. You know, feel... Oh, we can bump into you. Feel better. And uh, we'll check back in with you in a bit. <clears throat> More dead bodies. Great. Yes, this is, this is going to work out perfectly. You stay there, sir. We're going to deal with this crap. I don't want to. <laughs> Just get it over with. There's going to be a jump scare. Okay? Somewhere. Somewhere. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on. Come on, jump scare. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> Fucking bitch, get off me. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh, it looks like we won't be checking in with you, man. We're just gonna go. Uh, press something. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Oh, this elevator looks horrible. This looks dangerously unsafe. That is a dangerously unsafe elevator. I do have to check the time now, see how long we've been going. What? Oh, 
awesome. Great. That's what we wanted to see. So yeah, I'm going to say the bellows. Uh, it could be the bellows, which... I guess since we're technically going down, it would kind of make a little bit more sense. Alright, so it is the bellows. I had to, I stopped really quick to look it up because it was driving me fucking nuts. It's the bellows. Coffins. So we are now not in some type of hospital, we are in like a crypt. What the? Ah. Fuck you scurrying things on the ground, okay? <sighs> I forgot what we were talking about now. Oh yeah, the name. So yeah, I had to look it up. What the fuck? Okay, tremor, tremor worms are in here. Awesome. You took off. Thank you. It's very nice of you not to stick around, you know, and eat my face. You're very kind. So kind, in fact. You know, I might send you a card. Yeah, you uh. You got wrecked, dude. Can we light these? No. No, we cannot. Fine. Forward we go. See? Oh! I can actually move by moving my hand. Okay. See, I thought the only way to move was with... Uh, what is it? Triangle and square, I think it is, on the, on the move controllers. Which I'm getting used to, by the way. I'm not used to having, having to use the little buttons on the move controllers. Oh, come on, man. There is no way to go. Just do it. Oh, my God, that thing is fucking terrifying. What the fuck? Okay, there's a lot more things. I knew he was coming though. <laughs> Ooh, that thing was terrifying looking. It's huge. Ah. <laughs> what? We're not done yet, though, are we? Was that it? Was that really it? Come on, that can't be it. I mean, and again, it was a $5 game, so maybe? Uh, let's try this. Okay, so we did part one, Ghost Manor. All right, let's try part two, Hospital. Uh, no, we don't need the tutorial this time. We do know what we're doing. And see, I have the thing off for motion sickness. For some reason, I can't fucking do that in Resident Evil. But a lot of games I can. I don't know what it is about Resident Evil 7. But that game really fucks with me. What was the other one? Uh, there was one more I had serious, serious issues with. Like, really bad. It starts with they. It's like they, uh, they come or they follow. or No, they follow was a movie. Or was it It Follows? I don't know. Something like that. No, we did do this. Hey, our hands are way out there. So yeah, we, we beat the game. Wow. Uh, I might actually have to condense this down to one episode. I didn't expect it to be that short. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button for me. Stop floating offhand. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And maybe share this video around, which this video actually might be in the last video. So this outro might be the same outro I don't know I don't know all I know is this game wasn't very long I feel like maybe we spent 30 minutes on it anyway share it around if you want I'd greatly appreciate it if you did it would help the channel out you know these floaty hands they're great <laughs> I really wish there was more of this game but hey what do you expect for five bucks take care of my fellow gamers and I'll see all of you in the next video bye hand <laughs>